Cancer loves sugar. Cancer cells feed on sugar to grow faster. The scientific proof of this lies in the test used to diagnose cancer, called a PET scan, positron emission tomography. How does the test detect cancerous tumors? Doctors inject a special form of glucose tagged with a fluorine 18, 18F isotope, which makes the sugar glow with a fluorescent green color. To survive, cancer cells consume much more glucose than healthy cells, which is why they show up as bright spots in the scan images. Cancer loves sugar so much that this is what makes it possible to detect it in a PET scan. These are the top six sugar-loaded foods, and you might not even know it, sliced bread, including store-bought whole grain. Just two slices can contain six grams of sugar or two teaspoons. Store-bought tomato sauce can have up to 10 grams of sugar in just half a cup, which equals two teaspoons. Granola or cereal bars, some contain between 12 grams to 18 grams of sugar, which is about two to four teaspoons per bar. Flavored yogurt, one small cup, 170 grams, can have up to 20 grams of sugar, or around five teaspoons. Ready-to-drink teas, one 500 ml bottle may contain 25 grams of sugar, equal to six teaspoons. Sodas and boxed juices, a 12 Oz 350 ml can may contain 35 grams of sugar, which is nearly nine teaspoons. A scientific study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition involving over 100,000 participants aged 18 to 65 found that the consumption of sugar-rich beverages and foods such as sweets, bread, cakes, and dairy-based desserts increased the risk of developing breast cancer, prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, and lung cancer by 91%. Why does sugar cause cancer? One reason is that the sugar from these foods produces AGEs, advanced glycation end products, which are compounds formed when sugar reacts with the body's proteins and lipids. This reaction damages the DNA of immune system cells. Every day, our bodies are invaded by various cancer-causing toxins such as pesticides in food, air pollution, chemical additives in processed products, heavy metals in water, plastics, and even harmful ingredients in personal care items. These toxins silently accumulate in the body, overloading the immune system and creating an inflammatory environment that promotes the development of chronic diseases, including cancer. With chronic inflammation and weakened immunity caused by sugar, the immune system becomes unable to fight off these toxins, allowing cancerous tumors to form and grow. How to reduce sugar in a smart way? You don't need to cut everything all at once. Here are four sustainable tips to help you get started. Swap refined sugar for natural fruits. Use spices like cinnamon and vanilla to sweeten. Avoid sodas and store-bought juices. Read labels. Even yogurt can hide a lot of sugar. Your taste buds will adjust, and your body will thank you for the prevention. I left a checklist in the description below this video with 20 foods that are high in sugar, and you might not even know it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps us bring more valuable content to you. Comment below and let us know where you're watching from and if you already knew about this. And share it with someone who needs to cut back on sugar and prevent cancer. Subscribe to the Functional Diets channel for more tips on natural health, prevention, and smart eating. See you in the next video.